little bit about our school. We are actually two schools in one facility. Uh, we are a special needs school, which is called the Learning Center for Exceptional Children. That serves children from pre-K to 21 uh, of different um, abilities, uh, some students with cognitive disabilities or uh, some autistic kids. Um, and then we have a Today's Learning Center, which is a regular education school from pre-K to 8th grade. We have a, um, a dedicated staff who have been with us many for 10, 20 or more years. Um, and they've just been really happy to have the program in our school. Uh, our staff work uh, with the whole child curriculum, so that basically means um, we help students with their cognitive, social, emotional, physical learning. My students are working um, well below academic level, so um, although they are 13 to 15, my student working at the highest academic level would be a first grader technically, the material that she's being presented with. Um, so. Mr. Jerry and I communicate before the week so we can prep work beforehand. I'll make pictures just so that when he's telling his story, it's another way for my kids to engage. And I'll pre-teach and then afterwards we'll go back and I'll infuse it into some sort of academic area later in the week just to touch back on it again. So I have a bunch of students who communicate using a program um, called Proloco to Go and that's how they talk. That's They are able to push the buttons and that's how they engage with Mr. Jerry during the program. So beforehand, I'll put some of those buttons in, we'll talk about it, and even today, um, I had another student who just, I didn't put the button in her folder, but she went to a different folder and she was able to answer one of Mr. Jerry's questions from an academic folder that we had done previously. The kids were excited to write when they did the puppet show, right? That was completely child-driven. I was there to help them maintain a, sequ a sequence, right, or a time frame, make sure that was there. Um, if they had any questions, they asked, you know, for answers, things like that. But they developed the storyline, they developed their characters, they developed the entire thing on their own. And it was nice to watch the process because, first of all, writing is not easy. It's not easy to teach, it's not easy to learn. And writing within a group is even more difficult. I like writing because it expands my imagination. Because I have, to, I think of a story, but as the story goes on, I have to play things out. Like I have to think it in my head, like experience it in my head to write it down on paper. With my kids, they've really improved their ability to collaborate as a group. Whereas um, we used to only be able to run a group center for about five to 10 minutes, and then everybody would need a break. Now we're really up to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, where we're working on making our own book together. I have students who at recess time, instead of playing a game or being silly, they want to work on writing. They want to continue writing their story. They want to go further with it. And so that's, that's a big thing for us. You know, it's, it's exciting to see that it's engaging them that much that they want to do it on their own free time. Mm -hmm. I am pretty nervous to, I, I, sometimes in plays I'm really nervous but everyone says I did a great job and I'm like I don't, and I see in my head ah, I messed up something but I, but now Mr. Gerald's here I am a little bit more confident. And we made a play. Yeah, right? uh, Yeah, the three brothers. The three brothers. We, t we took a folk tale and made Basically, a script. Basically day one, uh, the first week uh, we had it was great feedback from from staff and students. Um, the teachers really, as the weeks progressed, they they just um, the program progressed. So they just noticed um, changes in their students. Um, I noticed changes in the teachers. I could see when you know we talked about spotlight. It was something they were excited about, something that they're looking forward to, something that they think is really enriching the lives of their students. Um, and for our students, um, like I said, you know our Tuesdays are are our big day to have Mr. Jerry. And um, it's just something that kind of enriches their uh, literacy. Excited, exhilarated, enthused, dramatic, uh, enlightened, everything, just everything. Wow, that's, that's wonderful, great. Kathy. All right, Kathy.